Hey everyone, I thought I would do a quick video um, for the Canvas Tips and Tricks series. Um, this is going to show you how to do quizzes with quiz question banks. So there's a lot more resources at hartnell.edu slash pdc slash canvas on using quizzes and, and quiz banks, but I just wanted to show you kind of the quick and dirty. This is how you do it. So here I am in the introduction of teaching online. This is a course that I teach. Um, and if I click on quizzes, I will be able to see my question banks right up here. The three dots, I can manage my question banks. Um, so I have several question banks with several questions in them. So all of my quizzes are set up to draw random questions for my question banks. Um, you'll also see all of you guys, um, when you create questions in your Canvas quizzes, they're automatically going to go into this area called unfiled questions. So if you already have um, quizzes set up, it's not that you can't set up your question banks nicely afterwards. All you need to do is go into your unfiled questions and you can move or copy a question into another question bank. So if I went here, um, I could create a new question bank and I would say move copy questions. I probably want to keep a copy in this question bank as well so I don't mess with any of my old tests in this course but I can go ahead and copy my question into my new question banks. So again I get here by clicking on quizzes, hitting the three dots, and selecting manage question banks. So once I have my question bank set up um, it's easy to create a quiz that draws random questions. Um, you can either go to quizzes or you can go into your modules, which is what I recommend you do, right? Put everything in your modules so you can have a nice clean navigation menu. Um, and I'm going to add a quiz, a new quiz. Here's just an example. That's what I'm going to call it. Let's say example midterm. Add my item. And now I have this example midterm here that I can go to and edit. Once I'm here, I'll want to set all of my quiz options. You know, I'll want to do stuff like make sure it's shuffle answers, maybe set a time limit, maybe allow multiple attempts. I don't want anyone to see their quiz responses, right? Um, these kind of options and then I'll go into my questions now here's where typically right you'll click new question and that's where you'll be able to enter your question but when I do a new question group I can now link to one of my question banks and I can pick let's say five questions out of my question bank and I'm gonna it's gonna be one point per question so let's link to a question bank and I have all of these um, question banks for all of my courses, which is kind of nice. So if you have this question bank in another one of your courses, you can use this across different courses. So you can see right here, I have two test banks, right? I've done this before. Um, in this particular course, it's PDO 101. So you'll be able to see, you should see your section number here. Um, so I know that this is the one that I want to use as opposed to this test bank, which is in a different course. Um, so if I go here, I can tell I only have one question in that question bank, so I'm going to select the bank. And it's really important that I hit create group at this point. If I were to hit save, it would get rid of this whole group, right? Just like when you're entering those new questions, you have to update the question and then hit save. Same with this, you create your group and then you'll hit save. So you'll notice that it says that this question group is set to pick more questions than are available. If I went in and edited this and said to pick one question, one point per question, I know there's one question in this test bank. Now I don't get the error message, so I know that I'm fine. If I wanted to link this to a different test bank, I have to get rid of this altogether. There is no way currently um, for me to specify a different bank. We just have to delete this group and do a new question group and link to a new bank this way. 
the group name doesn't actually matter. Um, this will not show up to students as of right now. Um, this will just show up to you. So you might want to give your own name, something that means something to yourself. So if I'm picking these questions from a group and this is my learning outcome one bank in the course, then I might want to say learning outcome one. So either way, you could also name it chapters, whatever, something that means something to you because your students are not going to see this. So once you've created your questions this way, um, this will again take random questions out of your bank. If you have specific questions that you want to make sure show up, then you could click on find questions and you would be able to go into any of your banks and you can select the question that you want to show up. So again, this allows you to put specific questions in your quiz um, that you absolutely want to make sure get asked. This is what that looks like. I'll find a specific question. I'll go into my test bank. I will select this question and I will say add selected questions. And now I have that question on my exam. So I can ask my random questions with my groups and I can ask these specific questions here as well. And of course I can add a new question at any point. And then make sure you hit update question and save. So I hope this was helpful. This is a quick and dirty, here's how you do test banks. Um, I find them incredibly valuable and I hope you will too. Thanks for watching.